And the new word in the zeitgeist is retanculus. Retanculus. We like that a lot. There's nothing fishy about these guys. Wade King and Brett Raymer from the Animal Planet Set Show tanked with another of their amazing creations. Wade and Brett are more than business partners. They are best friends and brothers-in-law. Great to have both of you with us. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. So how did two brothers-in-law get interested in fish tanks? How do you get along in the first place? Oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get along pretty good. Wade's been doing this his whole life, and then uh, he married my sister, and he got stuck with me. <laughs> That's how you feel. He got stuck with you. That's right. And how did you come to love aquariums? I had to force him into it. Really? You did? No. It grew on him. You've always been into it. Correct. And you had to learn it. Yeah. I, I growing still up, doesn't know it. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's Grow the in-laws we like. Yeah. <laughs> growing up as a kid, I always had aquariums. But uh, it progressed, obviously, since I met Wade. Obviously, now it's, it's gone to levels beyond, you know, we can imagine. Who are we looking at in here? So right here, we have a little aquarium that we made. Salt uh, water. Salt water. We actually uh, yeah. made your guys' logo for you. We, we, like that. That. we made that all by hand. Yeah. Uh, we have a salt water aquarium with a variety of different fish in here. Just like a basic setup, something that you know uh, kids or anybody could have in their, in their house. And how would you, if you were setting this up in your house, how would you do it? What are the specific things people need to think about that they forget? Well, you got to take it slow, first of all. You can't just throw it together. Um, you got to decide what you want to do, if it's going to be fresh water or salt water. And you got to take care of it. You can't just take like a fish and just throw it into the aquarium. You got to actually acclimate it nice and slow. You got to make sure the temperature's right and stuff like that. You say you say choose wisely to begin with because right. saltwater aquariums are more complicated. Correct. Yes. Obviously, then um, you, you you talk about properly acclimating. Correct. Does that mean yourself or the fish or both? <laughs> well, yeah, the fish. Well, <laughs> fish usually come in a bag like this. Oh, yeah. You and basically, one. yeah, we did. What you want to do is you want to actually float the fish to let the temperature get acclimated. Ah. And then as time, because when you go to your local pet store, you're not going to have the same water quality parameters as you would in your own home aquarium. So you just want to make sure that they get up to speed by floating them, making sure that the temperature and everything is acclimated correctly. Are there, are there certain types of fish that, let's say you want sort of a, a fish that'll just swim around and you don't have to do too much, are there certain types that you should think about buying if that's your MO? Correct. There's also compatibility too. You right. Know, you don't want to take one fish that's going to actually have a problem with another fish. So you want to study it a little bit. I had a beta as a kid, and I think that we were told don't put any other fish Correct. in the tank with a beta. Yeah, beta, betas, betas like are you know the fighting fish <laughs> as they call them. So Th this is a big one because all kids want to feed the fish, right? And, and even if it's a big family, and they all want to get in there and potentially feed the fish, but you, you don't want to overfeed the fish, Correct. right? That's Absolutely, one the, that's one of the no-nos. Yeah. How, how, how dangerous can that be, and, and how do you avoid that? Well, you want to get on, it depends how many fish that you have in the aquarium, and when you feed the fish, we're going to yeah, give you yeah. a little sprinkle. A okay. So we brought you a little sprinkle, Rebecca. Okay, what Just do want I to do? give a little bit of a pinch. pinch. I pinch. And basically you want to make sure that, you know, the fish, yeah, there you go. And then... No excess. How do you make sure they all get it then and they're not, you know... Well, you got to just keep your eye out. You want to watch them. And More? No, that, yeah, that's it. That's, 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 no, that's fine. And then, obviously, these fish are, are, are new, newly acclimated to the aquarium, so usually when you put fish in right away, you don't want to feed them right away. Best aquarium you ever made? Um, uh, one of my favorites is uh, we did a church. Dallas, in Texas? Texas. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a 70,000 gallon. 70,000 gallons. Yeah, How much is. do you pay for something like that? Well, some of our tanks range anywhere from $50 to $4.5 million. $4.5 million yeah. for a fish tank. Great stuff. Great business love them, to be in, awesome, guys. Right? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Clean, but very cool oh. stuff. Thanks, guys. Oh, thank you.